It is March 20th, 2014, and this is my voice pre-testosterone. I am officially two weeks on tea today. Uh, feeling awesome. I'm officially two months on testosterone. I am officially three months on tea today. I am four months on testosterone. I am five months on tea today. It is September 21st, 2014, and I am six months on tea today. And I'm officially one full year on testosterone. Yes! Oh, hey. It is March 21st, 2018, and I am officially four years on testosterone today. Four whole years. I don't know how it's already been four years. That's crazy to me. Um, and super exciting. And, um... It's been an amazing four years. Uh, definitely a roller coaster. Um, lots of ups, some downs. Um, lots of downs, lots of ups, lots of just awesome. And I'm really grateful for it. This journey has been incredible um, and really rewarding and, and, and hard at times. Um, and I'm incredibly grateful to have the amazing support system that I do have. Um, my family, my friends, new friends, um, uh, which is, so for any of you who don't know, um, my name is Malcolm Rene Rabot, and I started traveling uh, about two and a half years ago, um, and just fell into working to help connect and make visible fellow trans men with one another. Um, and since, since, <laughs> and that's just been a whole nother, whole nother journey on top of, on top of everything else. Um, so I haven't been on YouTube for, for about a year and a half. Um, but I've been, I've been focusing on other, other bits, um, on, on that work and on, um, freelance work. I'm a freelance graphic designer and you know, emotional work, mental work, um, and just, you know, a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I started, I started traveling and, um, I've since met and connected people in 49 of the 50 states so far, um, Alaska included. The only one that I need to return to, um, at the moment is to go for a, for, for, first time to to do this work <laughs> to do this work in for the first time um, is Hawaii uh, I went to Hawaii before I started traveling um, but that's when plans to move there I was gonna move there and that's when plans to move there fell through um, but so I need to return which is which is pretty poetic actually uh, it being the the final state to return or the final state to do this work in for the first time um, just full circle. It's pretty neat. Uh, and I've really been going, going with the universe on, on what it's supposed to look like. So I do have some, some thoughts on what, what's coming, coming next. I've taken a bit of time, um, off focusing on my next exciting thing, um, which is coming up next week, which is my lower surgery. Oh man. Um, yeah. Um, and <laughs> that's been a huge roller coaster too, um, which I will explain in another video. Um, because I, one thing that I am hoping from the roller coaster that I went through is that it'll help make things easier for people in the future. Um, so by sharing it, hopefully, um, other people will, will have an easier time. Um, and yeah, lots of ups, lots of downs. I'm, I'm in a very up time right now because now it's six days from today, next Tuesday in Scottsdale, Arizona with Dr. Lay. Um, and I'm getting metoidoplasty with, um, vaginectomy and scrotoplasty, um, and urethral lengthening. Um, and, oh my gosh, I'm going to be able to be standing up soon. I can't wait to go on my first hike 
after and be able to just walk off into the woods and just be standing up on a rock or on a tree or whatever <laughs> and I, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. And for so much more, too. Um, which I, I may share share more, more of that after surgery, like more personal stuff, you know. Um, if I, you know, when I feel, feel comfortable to do so. Um, man, yeah, it's, I've, uh, I feel like a lot, a lot has happened in the last year and a half. Um, that I feel like there's there's opportunity for for several videos after this one <laughs> um, But I wanted to say hey, I'm back <laughs> um, I'm back to YouTube and I figured my four years on T would be like the perfect time to come back um, and Yeah, I'd love to I I'm planning to do a video a more in-depth video um, About my work as as FTM traveler traveling around the country connecting fellow trans men and and spreading visibility and awareness for our community and some of the things um, I've done with that and my plans going forward which I'm really excited about um, yeah I've been letting the universe really like kind of help guide me in the direction of where that's going um, and one of my next plans is to get an RV um, and I'm stoked about that uh, and yeah, I'll talk, I'll talk, I think I'll make another video about that and talk more about, about that. <laughs> um, I don't want to make this video too long. <laughs> um, and then another video about, um, oh man, yeah, so many videos. One about, about the journey, uh, getting to lower surgery and, and kind of how that's looked for me and with insurance and, um, my insurance is covering it. My insurance that covered my hysterectomy, which was Washington State Apple Health Insurance, um, and that was that was, um, yeah, that was a process. That was a process, and but it's totally doable. Um, I did it, and I'm having surgery next week, and it's incredible. So I'll I'll do a more in depth video about that. Um, and I also had my hysterectomy about a year, a year, a little over a year ago now. Um, so here's a couple pictures from that. And I'll do a short video on my hysterectomy as well. Um, but it went really well, and I'm very happy with it. Um, and I had five incisions, laparoscopic, so they're just like, you, you can't even see them, really. But they're there. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll talk more about that experience um, in, in another video. Um, and then, what else? Let's see, four years on T. So... Check out my beard. <laughs> I love my facial hair. I'm super happy with it. Um, and it just keeps filling in more and more on the sides, my cheeks. Um, and I'm a little over three years now post-op on my top surgery. Um, which, also very happy with that. <laughs> um, and, 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 my hormone levels, um, they, it's interesting how much hormones affect emotions, um, I find that when, you know, when my hormones are off is when my emotions are much more um, up and down um, and I've been feeling that a little bit lately and um, and I got my hormone checks recently checked recently and and the, my testosterone is a little bit low um, so after my bottom surgery I'll be I'll be uh, I'll be up in that a little bit um, but yeah I'm officially uh, not on hormones uh, th for this week 
um, for, for lower surgery coming up next week, <laughs> which I'm okay with. <laughs> Um, you know, it's a good reason. I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, and let's see, um, saying um a lot, <laughs> but yeah. Hi YouTube, <laughs> I'm back. And um, yeah, I will also do a video. I'll be doing more videos. I'll, I'll do another video, uh, you know, for for the, the thing next week, you know that that thing. <laughs> ah. I can't believe it's here already, and I'm so glad. <laughs> yeah, it's been a roller coaster, and uh, I'll do a video talking about that for sure, for sure. And I just have to say, like, thank you. To all my friends and family and just everybody for just standing with me and for your support and for all of your love it's it's really gotten me through and in those in those tougher times and those lower points in the roller coaster and and for you know celebrating in those higher points you know and I'm so grateful for you and I love you and thank you so much like I thank you really thank you I really appreciate it and now it's here and I'm so ready I'm so ready and Oh yeah, um, I've been kind of like chilling in San Diego for a bit, um, most, most, for the most part, um, uh, been couch hopping and with some incredible friends, um, like lower San Diego or lower, um, California. I just took a trip up to, um, Oregon and spent some time with, with those in the Venture Out project, did a snowshoeing trip, uh, went back up to, um, to Washington and saw my friends that I was living with. I, I had a home base um, up in Spokane for, for about a year uh, with some really lovely humans. And um, yeah, that was, that was awesome. And I was, yeah, yeah. I don't wanna make this video too long, but it's hard because there's, there's so much to talk about because so much happened in the last year and a half. But I will make more videos and um, Oh yeah, <laughs> here's a comparison of my face um, from pre-T to one year, two year, three year, four year. Yep. <laughs> Um, yeah, so look out for more videos. Um, I've got tons I want to talk about, um, tons I'm planning to talk about. <laughs> um, and yeah, um, if you want to follow me anywhere else, you can follow me on Instagram, um, Tumblr. I don't do as much on there. Um, Twitter, I don't do as much on there, but I, 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 I have all my stuff from, from Instagram kind of go to Tumblr and Twitter. So it'll, it's, it's all the same content. Um, so but you can follow me on any of those you like, all at, at Gorilla Shrimp. Um, or on Facebook, my I have a page specifically for the, the work that I've been doing, connecting other others. Um, it's um, Malcolm Rabo. It's uh, and I'll put I'll put the links in in the comments or in the description below. I haven't done a video in a while, sorry. <laughs> I'm a little fumbly. Um, but yeah, I'll put the links in the description below. And um, yeah, it's Malcolm Rabo dash FTM Traveler. It'll, I preface that because I'm going to spell it out down there too. Um, but my last name is spelled R-I-B-O-T and Malcolm is M-A-L-C-O-L-M. Um, and let's see. Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, yeah, so look out for more. Uh, thank you again for all your love and support, and I love you so incredibly much, and I wouldn't be where I am today at all without, with all, all of you, and, and, I just, I love ya. <laughs> and, pretend this is a big 
big hug, a virtual squeeze to all of you, and um, one of these hearts. And so usually after all my stuff, I put like a little blue heart and the little plant thing, which, which a lot of people have asked what that means. And to me, it, it means growth. It means it means um, uh, like a new idea or or something's happening, like um, or you know just some kind of sprouting in a way um and and it's oh yeah it's always next to the blue heart because i'm just emotion i just love love and, and all those things so um yeah i don't know why i went on a little tangent about that but anyways thank you again so much and i will see you soon